I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Joan, the way you keep your budget is just ridiculous. I, I can't make head or tail of these figures. And here's a slip from the bank that informs us that our checking account is overdrawn. Have some coffee, dear. Oh, thank you, darling. How could you write checks without any money in the bank? Well, I figured they'd trust us. After all, when they've got our money, I don't go nagging them about it. Well, I'm afraid the banks don't look at it the same way, Joan. Well, they could be a little nicer about it. After all, I've been a very good customer of theirs. You have? Well, yes, I've been using money for years. <laughs> look, Joan, would you read these entries of yours? They, they look like Greek to me. Don't be silly. You know I can't write Greek. <laughs> Maybe I can't write Greek. You mean you can't read your own writing? Oh, I should be able to, shouldn't I? I don't have any trouble writing my own writing. Uh, Joan, I have to get to court soon. I want to settle this. So will you please stop wasting time and read the entries? All right. Uh, $22 groceries, uh, $24 butcher, $20 shoes, $60 for a pullover, $25 gardener, uh, $26... Wait, Joan, Joan, hold it, hold it. What's the matter? You were just doing 60 in a $20 zone. <laughs> I just heard a $60 item. Why? Guess I didn't read it fast enough. <laughs> Joan, will you explain that item? Well... Well? Have some more coffee, dear. Yeah, thank you, darling. It's... Cream Angel? Yeah, if you please. Sugar? Ah, uh, one. There we are. Ah, the first thing in the morning, there's nothing like a good hot cup of budget. Coffee. Yes, yes, budget. Now, these uh, tactics won't help you any, Joan, so will you just read that item? Uh, $60 for a pullover. $60 for a pullover? Well, it couldn't cost that much, not even the finest cashmere. Well, this wasn't cashmere, and it cost $60, and it wasn't for me. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I was speeding along. A copy I'll pull over. Sixty dollars. Oh, great. Well, Joan, if this is the way you balance a budget, you just don't deserve to be entrusted with one, that's all. What? Yes, yes. If this is the way you're going to do, I'm going to take care of the family finances from now on. Now, wait a minute, oh, oh, Brad. Yes, yes, I'm going to cancel our joint checking account, and I am going to stop... All your charge account. Now, listen to me, Bradley Stevens. You can't do this. I've got a perfect right to go over on my budget. I'm a woman. But the, what, what, what kind of a reason is that? You're a woman. That's the reason you give when I do anything stupid. From now on, I'm taking charge of the money. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Bradley Stevens, I demand my rights as a wife, as a woman, as a sister. Bradley, don't you dare drive away from me when I'm talking to you. 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 Well, I certainly got him twisted around my little finger. Good morning, dear. Oh, hello, Aunt Vera. What's all the yelling about? Well, Brad cut me off without a penny and canceled all my charge accounts. Well, that is drastic, isn't it? Well, you're darn right. How's a woman going to get a charge out of life if she can't charge? <laughs> Just because I'm a little off on my budget. How far off? Well, I figure if I give up a few luxuries, I may have it balanced in no time. What kind of luxuries? Oh, you know, food, clothing, <laughs> shelter, telephone. Who needs it? <laughs> Fine. Well, with these prices, believe me. Hey, Brad left his little pocket calendar behind. <laughs> and he's got a circle around today's date. Oh? That's got some writing on it. It says, 
B I R T A. Birthday. Today is Brad's birthday. It is? Oh, Joel, and you forgot it. Well, I never remember dates, but never. Oh, the sly little devil. I'll bet that's why he left it behind. And I yelled at him on his birthday. Oh, honey, you didn't know it. I'm going to make it up to him. I'm going to get him the biggest, best surprise party that he ever had. On such short notice? Oh, sure, I'll have it catered. So what if it does cost $100? He's worth it, that darling husband of mine. Uh-oh. <laughs> now what? Why, that horrible monster of a husband of mine has cut me off without a penny. <laughs> How am I going to give a surprise party for the poor darling? Oh, if I know Brad, he's just angry for the minute. Now, you go see him, and I'm sure he'll change his mind. Yeah, maybe the judge will reverse himself. Aunt Vera, I'm off to try the case of Stevens versus Stevens. Bye. Goodbye, dear. No, Joan, you're coming down here was completely unnecessary and uncalled for. I will not give you any money. But this is for something special, a real emergency. Are you ready for court, Your Honor? I'll be right there, Joe. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, you can't run out on me like this. Look it, I have to have the money, and I have to have it right away. Please, not now, Joan. I'm, I'm due in court. But, Brad... Uh, I'll see you later, lover. <laughs> I'll see you later, lover. <laughs> And so, Your Honor, my client feels that considering the damage done to her reputation, $15,000 is not too much to demand. $15,000 is ridiculous. It's robbery and you know it. Please. All I'm asking is a fair settlement. And by George, I'm going to get it. Over my dead body, you'll get it. Don't tempt me. Why, you little sore of... Please, please, please. We'll not permit a display of temper in this court. Let's try and behave like civilized human beings. Nothing is accomplished by getting angry. It's, it's childish. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I apologize to the court, but not to you. Now, now, am... now, 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 let's continue this case without getting angry or raising our voices, shall we, gentlemen? Yes, Your Honor. Now, my client feels that this sum of $15,000, which she is asking in damages, is entirely justified by the fact that due to the allegations made by the plaintiff, her, her earning power has been greatly diminished. And I would like to support this claim, Your Honor, with some figures, which I have right here. Yeah. Now, these figures show that in 1952, her earnings were 20% below 1951. And this mind, this mind, Joe, what are you doing here? Just power. have to have the money, so, Brad. I've got to have it. Well, it's no use bothering me. You won't get any money. Uh, what? No, no, no. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. What? No, no. I mean, uh, no, please, 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 uh, please continue, gentlemen. But, Brad, you don't understand. Your Honor, this argument yes. doesn't hold water. I say she's not entitled to one penny. Now, just a minute. Uh, this is a family affair, if you don't mind. <laughs> Joan, Joan, please. Now, please, will you just get out of here? Oh, I, I really can't leave until I get the money. Oh. Well, I'll give you the case of Smith versus Banks. What have they got to do with it? It's just between him and me. <laughs> You're confusing me, isn't it? That case has nothing whatever to do with this. Say, who is that lady judge, anyway? Beats me. Hmm. Oh, Your Honor. Oh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Joan, Joan, will you please leave? Just get out of it. Joan, why shouldn't Brad cancel your account here, too? He never remember a small little shop like this. But can you be sure? Excuse me, Mrs. Sermon. Oh, that's all right. Hello, Mrs. Stevens. May I show you something? Oh, hello, Agnes. Uh, no, I see you're busy. I'll, I'll just look around, dear. Fine. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, how's my account? Hmm? What do you mean, Mrs. Stevens? Well, I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Uh, nothing's happened to the little fellow. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Stevens, your account is the last one we'd have to worry about. 
This kid in for a shock. You evidently still have an account. But I don't see how that's going to get you money for Brad's surprise party. What? <laughs> Who, me? How would you like to buy a hot dress? Oh, no, thank you. I really can't stand warm fabrics. <laughs> what a square. <laughs> I mean, uh, how would you like to buy that same dress you got right there for 25% off? Really? Oh, I'd love to. But how? Well, I've got a special charge account here. You see, first I buy it for you, then you yes. pay me the cut price, and I slip it to you. But I never heard of such a thing. Well, it's a new service. A confidential secret shopping service. We buy things for people on the sneak. Oh, I see. Uh, you've heard of a private eye, haven't you? Yes. I'm a private sneak. <laughs> oh, it's a deal, then? All right. All right, now you wait right here, dear. All right. Agnes, I I'll take this, please. Wrap it up. Without trying it on? Oh, it isn't necessary at all. It's just what I've been looking for. I just love it. It's sort of gypsy, don't you think? <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I wouldn't dream of letting you take a dress out of the shop without trying it on. No, no, it's really not necessary. Now, hurry along, dear. You know where the dressing room is. <laughs> Oh, it's a dream, isn't it? Mrs. Stevens, it's miles too large on me. No, that's what I like. Plenty of hip room. But plenty of hip. What's the trouble with women's clothes? Too tight. It isn't healthy. But in this, all your body gets a chance to breathe. <laughs> I got around backwards. See? Oh, of course. Oh, it brings out the peasant in me. Oh, yes, I'll take it. You'll take it? Hey, wrap it up and put it on my charge account. All right, Mrs. Stevens, if that's what you want. Here we are. Let's see now, 25% off of a $40 dress. Thirty dollars, that's correct. Thank you. My, what a wonderful service. Anytime. Anytime. Oh, say, um, I think you better sneak out the back way. to buy that dress and have a few bucks left over for a hat and gloves. Well, yes, but how? The confidential secret shopping service is at your service, madam. I am operator X7. Now, I'll explain how this little caper works. See, uh, first you wait here. Now, I buy this dress on my special charge account, see? Then I go over to her. <laughs> It's, it's a dream, isn't it? But it's so tight, Mrs. Stevens, and you said before that... Well, I know, well, you can't have all your clothes loose, you know. He has to have support now and then. I'll take it. Fine, I'll put it on your charge account. You better get me out of this, will you? Here we are. 
thanks. It's a real bargain. Anytime. <laughs> oh, say, uh, I think you better sneak out the back way. Um, how would you like to buy a short, hot dress? Maxine's Dress Shop. Who? Oh, hello, Judge Stevens. Huh? Well, yes, Mrs. Stevens has a charge account here. Why? Vera, I think I better sneak out the back way. <laughs> oh, why, yes, I'll take care of it. It's going to be such a wonderful party. And won't Brad be surprised? <laughs> you know, isn't it lucky that just tonight, when you don't want him home till 9.30, he's playing handball at the club? <laughs> oh, it wasn't luck. Who do you think told Al Peters to call Brad and ask him to play? Oh, Joan, sometimes you amaze me. Yeah, sometimes I amaze myself. <laughs> well... Nothing to worry about now, I guess. Brad's out of the way. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Brad's coming down the street. What? He must have decided not to play handball. Oh, we've got to get these decorations. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you mustn't be here when the caterers come here. It's say nothing of the guests. Joan, <laughs> you've got to think of a way to get Brad out of the house until 9.30. Yes, I'll have to think of some way to make him take me out or something. I... Oh, hello. Hello, Brad. Hello, Vera. Hello there, darling. How are you? I was just going to ask you to... Sure. You should care if I'm cooped up in the house all day. Huh? You're out in the world seeing people, doing things, breathing fresh air. And what do I breathe? Chicken soup fumes. <laughs> That's wrong. Pay attention now. I'm talking to you, dear. What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, I'm human. And I'm young. I want to live. Do you hear me? I want to live, live, live. <laughs> sure. All I do is stay home. And wash and scrub and clean. And darn your socks. Darn your socks. Huh. While you're out with your fancy friends. Well, I'm sick of it. Do you hear me? Sick, sick, sick. I want to have fun, fun, fun. Uh, uh, Joni, Joni. What is it, Pete? Uh, Brad. Well, honey, I was going to ask you to go out somewhere tonight. No, I want to go out somewhere tonight. I want to have fun, fun, fun. <laughs> you wanted to ask me to go somewhere? Well, certainly. That's why I didn't play handball with Al. Now, where would you like to go? Oh, well, I, I don't know, dear. Well, you make up your mind while I uh, change my shirt. Oh, uh, here, here's the paper. Why don't you look at the uh, entertainment page, honey? How do you like that? Those greens next door having company. You'd think they'd close their blinds, wouldn't you? Oh, no, dear. I, I think it's much more neighborly to leave the blinds open, don't you? Oh, I, honey, I, I, no, 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 dear. I, uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going to take him? Well, I don't know, but whatever you do, keep him out of the house until 9.30. Everyone will be here by then. Yeah, but where do you go that lets out early enough for us to be home at 9.30? Oh, that's right. I know. I'll make him take me to something that he doesn't enjoy. That way you'll be glad to leave whenever I say. Well, honey, what do you decide? Um, how would you like to see a movie, dear? Oh, that, I'd love that. You would? Yeah. Well, in that case, how about going to the fights? The fights? Sure, that's a wonderful idea. It is? Yeah, you know something? I don't think I've been in over a year. Well, there's no sense in spoiling your record. Um, how about a, um, hockey game? Oh, no, no, that's a game that never made much sense to me. Ever since as a kid, it bored me stiff. It did? Yeah, you know, grown men chasing a little piece of rubber up the ice. But the fights, that's action. Dad, I've got a wonderful idea, dear. Let's go see a hockey game. Uh, but, honey, I don't enjoy hockey. Oh, but the flash of skates on ice, the chucker moving back and forth, men hitting each other over the head with sticks and everything. It's but, exciting. but, dear, I don't like hockey. 
But I told you, Brad, that I'm tired of being cooped up. I want to have fun, fun, fun. Really? Oh, all right, honey. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go to the, go to the hockey game. Ah, oh, you're a darling angel. <laughs> Good night, Aunt Vera. Good night, dear. I'll get him home by 9.30. <laughs> Come on, honey, I'm, I'm waiting. Let's have fun, fun, fun. <laughs> party for you. All your friends, the whole work skaters, and you wouldn't leave that stupid hockey game. A surprise party for what? For your birthday. What do you think? My birthday? Well, yes. Here's your calendar. You had today's date marked right on there. Oh, how could I have forgot? Yes, how could you? <laughs> oh, it isn't my birthday, lover. It's your birthday. <laughs> my birthday? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. What's the matter? You forgot my birthday. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Aunt Vera? Ta da! Happy birthday, Joe. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm 
Mary Jones. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I, Mary Jones. What a mind, love is blind, what a way to do. Gee and gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain is going. 